came here because the opportunities weren't really there in, in Sask for you. You came here really deep receiving core, but here you are, you got your chance, you got in and you chose yourself. What does it feel like to sort of get that redemption after all that, that time trying to get your shot? Yeah, I'm still trying to grasp it. Um, it's honestly just an amazing feeling. You know, it's been a slow start to my career, slower than I would have liked for sure. Um, but like I said, you know, just being here feels like home. Everything's coming along nice and smoothly, you know, getting a lot of targets, getting a lot of catches, you know, obviously having my best year yet to date, coming off my best game, you know, it's just been one of those years that's definitely giving myself a lot of motivation. How about last game? It seemed like you were almost like the focal point of, of the offense, like everything was coming up Millhouse. I wanted the field to be like that guy for, for that night and, and come up with those huge catches that you did. Oh, awesome. Especially in the type of game it was too. Um, you know, in the moment you're making big catches and you know you're not getting as excited as you probably should, but you know, when the game's done and it's finally zeros on the clock and you know you realize you came away with that win, it makes it special that you were a big contributor to that. Surprised that you were available for the Lions to snap up? Sorry? Were you surprised that you were available for, for, to sign here in BC? Going back to what JJ said about not really feeling the love. I'm uh, sorry, I'm not. not in Saskatchewan. Like, I one more time. Sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble. I'm surprised that you were available for them to sign, oh, okay, is what okay, I'm okay. saying. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm surprised that you didn't feel the love there that you're feeling here. Oh, yeah, again, it's just opportunity. Um, you know, like I said, I had a lot of playing opportunities, but I wasn't really getting the targets. And you know what I mean? I just didn't, wasn't really feeling too comfortable in the system. I wasn't really, you know, three years and my production wasn't that high, you know, and talking to the guys here over the off season, you know, they were super excited to get me here. You know, it seemed like they had big plans for me, and you know, it's all paying off now. You're making big catches when this team needs it the most, but when I asked Neil, he said he's impressed by the fact that you're always catching the ball at the high point, which is a tough thing to do. Is it something that you've worked on? Is it a lot to do with your size? Oh, for sure. It has something to do with my size, for sure. Um, it's always been kind of the, the upside of my game, you know, dating back to, to college, or, and even when I started playing receiver. Um, you know, you can't coach height, you can't coach size, you know, so there's a lot of things I know that I can do that many people can't. I just got to keep working on it to get better to, you know, take my game to that extra next level. Is it possible to become a thousand yard man? Absolutely. That, that's, that's, the, that's the vision, that's the goal, you know, it's always to be better, always to reach new goals and, you know, I, I don't see why not. What's your comfort level here? You talked about not feeling comfortable in Saskatchewan. What's the comfort level here in BC for you? Oh, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, I would rate it higher if I could. I, I love it here. You know, every day when I wake up, I like coming in. I don't mind waking up early. Um, you know, it's just a great environment to be around coaches, players, you know, friends, teammates, everyone. Everyone just has a good vibe here, and it's, it's really special. I feel like I've written about this a bunch of times, the, the brotherhood with the receivers. What's it like in, in the huddle when you go in there with, the, with that crew? Oh man, it's special. It's honestly special. Um, win, loss, draw. Um, we're always there to pick each other up, have a good time, um, but most importantly, compete and and you know do what we we come to do, and that's win ball games. How much, how much does all that factor in to having success? Obviously, you talked about the opportunities, but to have that camaraderie, to have that trust, and that everyone's balling together. No, it's it's huge. It's huge just from a from a you know um, what's the word I'm looking for not motivation, but confidence standpoint. Um, just to, you know, if I make a play or someone else makes a play, you know, there's going to be, you know, the rest of the group there to kind of to cheer you on. You know, it's the same thing, though. If you, if you don't make the play, there's going to be that whole group there to kind of pick you up and let you know, hey, that's not you. Let's go. Lock back in. We're ready to go again. You'll make it next time. You lick in your chops when you look and see a five foot six, five foot eight uh, DV there? Oh, of course. I mean, the defense has to, you know, go man coverage and a few other things have to happen, but, you know, of course, I know I'm taller than almost every DB in the league, so just got to go out and make the play. What's your, do, you, do you have a short memory? Are you a guy that has a short memory? If you miss a catch, you miss a couple of catches, you can wash it and move on? Or? What's it great? <laughs> y yes and no. Yes and no. Um, it'll definitely be in the back of my mind, but I'll definitely be able to move on, not let it affect my game or anything like that. You know, kind of put it on the back burner because at the same, you know, I'm... I want to be perfect, you know, I know it's a huge ask, you know, to ask anybody to be perfect, but that's the expectations I have of myself. So, of course, you know, when something happens like that, you know, of course, it's going to upset me, make me bothered. But, you know, you got to quickly forget it. That's the only way to, to move forward and win ball games. Was there a primary driving force heading into the season or a motivation that you had burning inside? I know you guys always want to be the best that you can be, but was there something else there for you? propelling you this season? No, it was just myself. Um, you know, like I said, the early years, I, I wasn't staying healthy. That was the biggest thing is I wanted to stay healthy this year because I knew if I can put together a good, a long, healthy season, I think I'd be in 
you know, the type of situation that I'm in now. And, you know, everything's been going well this year. You know, just knock on wood, keep it up, you know, take care of my body and do the things that I've been doing. and Everything will keep going the way it is.